Hi and welcome to this presentation. Uh, my name is Irina and I'm glad to have you here. I hope that in the next 15 minutes you'll be able to see something that might inspire you or help you to move forward or move into a different direction but whatever it is that you at least <laughs> get a little bit more information about what's out there. So let me share my screen with you. I use a PowerPoint presentation to make me stay on track and not get sidetracked. But um, as I said, my name is Irina. I'm a mother of two, married to Tony, uh, been together for 26 something years uh, and our kids are 20 and 16. And I'm a transformational coach, whatever that might mean to you. What it means to me is that I like to help people go from A to B, whatever it is, if it's in a emotional or mental or physical or even financial state. And um, maybe even with a touch of spirit in there also. However, let me just play this little clip for you. I'm sure you all know where, which movies this is from, but it actually asks a question and you want to ask that question to yourself. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? What do you want? I have to go. Ouch. <laughs> so what do you want? Well, what do you want? Look, research shows that people who are looking to create a breakthrough in their life fit in one or more of these three categories, but they're usually just one out of three. And it's either they want a breakthrough in health, a breakthrough in their relationship, or a breakthrough in their finances. And sometimes it's all of the above, right? So if you are not looking for a breakthrough in any of these three areas, what I have to share with you might actually be making no uh, difference at all to you. It just will come across as a great idea, but you know, you might just take it or leave it. So if this is, however, something that you would like to create a breakthrough in, either have your finances or your relationships, then stay tuned. But coming back to you, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? You know, we are so busy nowadays to just stop and think and actually write down what it is that you want. Write down what it is that you want to achieve this month, this year, in the next three to five years. What about 10 years? Have you got a clue? Do you know where you want to go? Because if you don't know where you're going, it doesn't matter what you do or which road you take. So it is an important question to ask and it is, uh, okay, who? Who would you like to become? Ideally, what do you want? What is it actually that you would want? If time and money wasn't in, an issue, what would you do with yourself? What would you own? What would you be doing? Uh, who would you be doing it with? And then ask yourself, is it actually really important to me? Because if it's not, then again, it doesn't matter what you do. But if you do have a goal, if you do have that specific outcome in your mind, then it does matter what you do. Let me explain. First of all, what if... In the next 20 minutes, you see something that has a potential to change your lifestyle in all three categories, in health, in your relationships, and in your finances. Would you be open to see what's possible? Well, I assume you are <laughs> open because that's why you're here. 
So look, the odd uh, way of saying is go to school, get a good education and get a great job so you can work for the rest of your life and live on a limited income. And when you're old and ugly, you can retire on like a percentage that you couldn't live on 100% anyway. And they just bring it down to what? 40% if you're lucky. But how is that working for you so far? How many years have you been working? And how closer are you to your ideal outcome? How much closer are you to your lifestyle that you would love to ideally create? But is that what we want to encourage our children to do? Just get a good education, work really hard for the rest of your life and then retire on pittance? That's not the vehicle to take. Just look back at your parents and their parents or the people around you. How is that working for them? So, yeah, we get sucked into the system of work for 40 hours a week. Some people actually earn, uh, sorry, work 50 or 60 hours a week. I mean, are you serious? And they're still not getting what they want. They do that for 40 years. Well, now it's 50 and they retire on 40% of the hundred that they couldn't live on in the first place. So are you on the right track? Is what you are doing, creating the lifestyle you are hoping to achieve? Let me share this with you. Robert Kiyosaki has written a book called Cash Flow Quadrant. And he explained in this that we all fall in one of these four categories. We either an employer, which means we have a job, or we're self-employed, which means we own a job. <laughs> or we're a business owner. We own a franchise, which is a system, and we let people work for us. Or you can be an investor and let money work for you. 95% of people are on the left side. They're either an employee or self-employed. Only 5% of people are actually business owners or investors. But guess what? The 5% own 95% of the wealth and the 95% on the left side share 5% of the wealth. That does not seem right, does it? However, where would you want to be? So if you're an employee and you have a job, you trade time for money. If you're self-employed and you own a job, you work this ideally to make more money, but you're still trading time for your money. When you're a business owner and you own a system, you work a system like a franchise or anything like that, you actually leverage people and you earn on other people's efforts also. And then, if you made your fortune, you can actually invest and leverage money. And that's where money makes money for you. I love this quote by Winston Churchill. You know, he says that men occasionally stumble over the truth, but most of them pick themselves up and hurry off as if nothing ever happened. And the same thing can happen to you right now after this presentation. You go, oh yeah, that was interesting and you just go back to your job and don't even think about the potential of what this can do for you. I hope it's not you. You know, Paul Zan Pilsner has written a book in 1990 something, and it was called The Next uh, Trillion Dollar Industry, The Wellness Revolution, and he already then pretty much uh, said that the wellness industry will exceed the 1 trillion healthcare industry in the next 10 years and has it what? You can just look around and do your research because he, he was right. And now in 2020, what is more important? Like what are people really looking for? 
and he did say, say that the greatest entrepreneurial opportunities will be in distributing rather than manufacturing. And it's in wellness products and services. Interestingly enough, all the people in the know say that networking is really the greatest source of grassroot capitalism because it teaches people how to take a small bit of capital that is your time and build the American dream. And that's Jim Rohn saying. Uh, Tony Robbins speaks on the power of networking. Bob Proctor says if it wasn't for what he's already doing, he would be network marketing. Same with Bill Gates. If I would be given a chance to start all over again, he would choose networking. Robert Kiyosaki, network marketing gives people the opportunity with very low risk and very low financial commitment to build their own income generating asset and acquire great wealth. I mean, these are not your, you know, Uncle John's brother's cousin, uh, unemployed um, brother that's sitting on a couch all day and uh, sharing an opinion, if you know what I mean. These are people that know what they're talking about. So what is the ideal business? The ideal business would be, hey, maybe investing less than $1,000 to get started. Uh, have a ready to use personal website. You earn while you learn a system. There is business and system coaching included. You get weekly online coaching. There is access to personal development. This is a compensation plan where you get paid while you learn. And it's like a personal development with a compensation plan attached. However, what you have also is consumable products and services that fill a need, not a want, but a need. There are products that help create undeniable results. Results guaranteed or money back. You eat your overheads. How many businesses can you say that of? How many businesses do you know that you can eat your overheads and actually claim tax on it? Um, no, you've got geographical freedom. No cash handling, no stock, no shipping or no inventory. Oh my goodness. This is a business owner's dream. So look, we believe that people are unique individuals. So we use systems because systems are duplicatable. People aren't. Let me share some industry statistics with you. Look at this. You know, when Paul... Paul Zan Pilsner was sharing about his prophecy about the wellness industry absolutely booming. Well, this is what's happening. Uh, oh, that's going actually even back five years. That was already then. But the weight loss industry was $15.9 billion worth. Energy, $121 billion. Performance industry, $31 billion. The healthy aging industry, the baby boomers, $90 billion industry. Us baby boomers, we don't want to look or feel old and we spend the money on it, so we don't. Hey, that rhymes. And, you know, wealth creation, approximately 700,000 Australian and New Zealanders earn income through direct selling. Now, there is a clue. So, what I am sharing with you is to be able to tap into a system that includes all of these uh, areas. Area in weight loss, energy, performance, healthy aging, and wealth creation. Just to give you an idea, my niece Nicole, what a beautiful transformation after she had her two babies. Nothing else worked. She's got an incredible testimony to share. Jess, look at her. Day one, day nine, day 30. I mean, are you serious? We are talking about emotional and physical results that cannot be denied. 
guys, this is my husband, Tony. That was his experience. This is our friend, Laurie. There are results you cannot get anywhere else. Just more health transformation. Look at Tremaine. I mean, what a beautiful, beautiful transformation in this girl. What about Grace? I mean, her husband thinks now he's got a brand new wife, which is wonderful. And Christine going from, you know, middle age looking to, hey, ha ba ba ba. Energy and performance. Katrina Wood. I don't know if you heard of her, but oh my goodness. And she said she wishes she knew of it much, much earlier. We have Rico Gear, a retired All Blacks rugby player. Day one, day 30. Look at the incredible transformation in his body. What about Matthew Ferguson, a former St. Kilda AFL player? Day one, day 90. Man, very nice. Healthy aging. I mean, look, couples, singles, anybody wants to look and feel great and not get fat and flabby in the old age. So the choice is yours. Look at Robin. What a beautiful transformation. What a beautiful, healthy aging transformation. And we have the wealth creation. Up to date, we are up to $327 million earners in our company. And our company only been around for 17 years. We are booming. Yes, we are. We're already in about 15 countries around the world. And we are just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Because you know why? The results are undeniable. Richard Branson says, if someone offers you an amazing opportunity and you're not sure you can do it, just say yes anyway, and then learn how to do it later. Because if you say no, nothing changes. So what if this business has a potential to change your health, your relationships, and your finances? What if this business doesn't deliver what it promises? Well, all association will be cancelled and money will be refunded. And you can just go back to going your plan A on your road, wherever that leads to. But what if this business delivers all it promises and you don't even give it a go? So where from here? If what you've seen is of interest, message me via Facebook Messenger or email me at urinamagri at gmail.com or give me a call on 0425-790-161. That's in Australia. And let's chat. Might or might not be for you, but what if it is and you don't even give it a try? That would be a damn shame. So, I'd like to thank you for watching. And I hope we'll get to talk. All the best.